Let's see how we can use an ODE to solve an antiderivative problem. So let's consider any derivative of either 3x cosine 4x. So what does this mean? So remember, if I want the antiderivative of e to the 3x cosine 4x, I'm going to treat e to the 3x cosine 4x as a derivative of some function y. The problem is asking us to find that y. Now, let's also note e to the 3x cosine 4x also satisfies the ODE given here. So that you could just check. Now, let's look at something special with this ODE. If I have a solution to this ODE, we note its derivative will also be a solution. So, if I have two things that are equal, if I take their derivatives, what comes out will stay equal. So that'll say y triple prime minus six, y double prime plus 25, y prime equals zero. And then, if I let z be equal to y prime, this just says z double prime minus six z prime plus 25z equals zero. So the derivative y prime is another solution. You might ask, well, how about if we go in the other direction? If y is a solution, will the antiderivative of y also be a solution? In this case, we're gonna have a problem Okay, the constant of integration that you get is going to get in the way of other solutions. So the idea is we're hoping that we'll just find one solution, okay, one antiderivative. If you have one antiderivative, you get all the rest by adding a constant. So we just want one from our ODE. So let's see what happens. So if I suppose that there's at least one, then that y is going to satisfy, okay, we isolate the y in the equation. It's going to be y equals 1 25th, 6y prime minus y double prime. Okay, this is good. Look at what just happened. We're given y prime as e to the 3x cosine 4x, and then I can get y double prime just by taking the derivative of this. So that's just going to be product rule and chain rule. If I do so, what happens? y double prime, we just use product rule and chain rule on each term. What comes out? Well, we'll have y equal to 1 over 25, 6y prime, and then minus our y double prime. Then that collapses to our equation here. And for you to look this antiderivative up in a table, it would agree with this. Of course, you should check it. You should take the derivative of this and see that that derivative agrees with this. Okay. So, in general, what's happening here? Suppose I have y prime equal to e to the ax cosine bx. You should check, that's gonna solve the ordinary differential equation, y double prime minus 2ay prime plus a squared plus b squared y equals zero. Once you've done that, you can solve by isolating for the y and now you just go through this procedure here, and that's gonna give us this formula. Okay, so the idea here is not to focus on the formula, but focus on the technique. That way, if it comes up, you can reconstruct from scratch. Also note, for all of this, the procedure will be the same for getting the solution to either e to the 3x sine 4x or e to the ax sine of bx.